Two of these cookies came from Girl Scouts for $6. The other two from Aldi's for $1.89. No, no, it's fine. Apparently, it takes an entire $5.11 to fill in that little hole with chocolate. It's fine. It's normal. Boy Scouts learn how to tie ropes. Girl Scouts learn how to swindle. Yeah, I don't care what these peeling stickers assure you is all you need to do. I will always resort to just grabbing a knife first and doing a little, like, like circular stabby stab. Dad smashed my monitor. Do you see, YouTubers? Do you see what happens when you always tell people to smash that like button? Not everyone is aware of the humor and the metaphor. They take it literally. Came home to my mom boiling bleach to clean a pan of some burnt-in sugar, creating a highly toxic gas. Ah, silly mommy. Accidentally creating toxic fumes in the household. She's always doing such silly things. I mean, last month, she just set up your father with life insurance. Ah, silly mommy. Mommy, make sure you delete your search history. My cousin and her kid are staying with us for a while. This is what she usually gives her five-year-old son for breakfast. You fuss! No, 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 we're calm. We're calm. It's a calm, relaxing bunch of posts today. Does this strengthen my morally questionable resolve that people should have a license to be allowed to have kids the same way you need a driver's license to drive a car? Maybe? I'd like to argue how that begins a rickety bridge towards the eugenics that Nazis themselves would try to incorporate in society but then chocolate bar for breakfast! And let's not even get started with the content the child is consuming. I mean, really? In the age of our Lord and Savior, Bluey, I sentence these parents to eating dog droppings because that's basically the exact same quality of a diet they're giving their child. The bunny's ear on this worksheet my daughter brought home from school. Cool, a little color in audition homework to do. 15 equals pink, 16 purple, then green, orange, white, and yellow equal 20. It seems like your kid's a natural. Look at him go with the... Wait a minute. That soil isn't fertile at all. How did that bunny get that carrot? Every morning, this cat comes and poops on my balcony. <laughs> you think it's your balcony still? That's cute. You foolish civilian. You think this cat is annoying you? No, no, no. It's reminding you. Reminding you of where you stand. And the stand. Stepping order, no, pecking order. Yeah, nailed it. My friend was trapped in her apartment because of this. Now, I have multiple questions about this. So now, usually, you get notified if this is happening. Especially something that has to do with literal accessibility for residents. But I assume maybe in this scenario, they didn't get that information. Either way, what a quality job. Look at all that concrete sprayed onto the door. You just know the landlord is going to take that tenant's bond for that. Now, see, you could have opened the door. What? And so the concrete would have sprayed onto the floor instead. Yeah, exactly. See, now, see, it's your fault. What? Before and after of a college in my city. Here we are before. Beautiful, tall, ancient, well, not really, trees. The bushy poles of nature. Let's see how they're doing now. Ah, coming back after a long bender of a weekend. Everyone's just passed out on top of each other, I see. No, okay, seriously. Why? Sorry, relaxing. We're relaxing. I'm sure they're planning to create something even more luscious and vibrant, such as the concrete and maybe lighter concrete and then maybe some some darker looking concrete you know like they're always so so this is the amar college in kashmir the before photo is how it's looked since 1913 more than a hundred years now many people are upset because they're treating the college like a main character in an early 2000s chick flick and giving it a makeover but what everyone seems to be ignoring is in 2014 some heavy floods hit the region and they lasted for quite a while especially in the college campus space. The deluge not only damaged the infrastructure, but also weakened the trees severely. The trees started uprooting in minor windstorms and causing damage to the surrounding structures and began to pose grave safety concern for the students, visitors, and staff. So there you have it. Unfortunately, unlike the movies, the administration isn't actually evil, and despite the tree hugger's demands, uh, the college is actually trying to stop potential murders. DoorDash driver pulled up to my house, marked order as delivered, stole it, and and uploaded this as the delivery location. Dude, that is someone so confident that they aren't gonna get fired and banned by DoorDash. Oh, and the ashtray that's clearly not cleaned out for years. The fact it's just poured all over the rest of the car. Honestly, maybe I wouldn't want the food from this person. It's probably turned carcinogenic from sitting in that car for just 10 minutes. The newly installed keypad in the elevator of my building. Let's count it down, folks. Nine, five, six, eight, three, four, seven, one, two, star, black. Last off, exactly how I learned it in school. I mean, dude, come on, you, you're an electrician. Surely it was an electrician who 
installed this. How could you not learn math as an electrician? You know all about circuitry and voltage, but one plus one, ooh! Oh, that's a head scratcher. I had an exam. Oops, oopsie. Oh, you missed your alarm. Hmm, see, it's all your fault, though. See, the volume was low. Hmm, what you gonna do about it, huh? You gonna break me? Hmm, really? You can't afford to. You're a student. We both know you can't. Who needs a gaslighting partner when you have me? Thanks for calling me fat, Aunt Karen. Just a lovely photo of Opie at Walt Disney World. You look like you're having twins, Jew and April. Holy smokes, you're a woman. And, like, I, I, I'm a man, and I know never to say such a comment. That's my male privilege. I I get to have the possible ignorance when I say that sort of thing. You don't. <laughs> you know what that means. So she she knew exactly what to imply here. Also, who the hell hearted this? <laughs> you better get those fists ready. You're going to fight someone. Someone dared to put their foot on my armrest on a flight. Americans, I speak to you all now over a serious issue. You need to set a president to your potential president. You will vote for they who decrees it law that if anyone does this to your armrest on a flight, you are bound by law to pin their leg in place, take out the complimentary sanitary glove that is provided to you by the airplane, and do with the foot as you wish for the entirety of the flight. Personally, I'd enjoy pretending to practice playing guitar with their foot. It's a shame for them that this is an international flight. When they finally get their foot back and notice a toe is missing, I will simply say, I have no idea where it could be. Ooh, look for it. My large on the left fries from Chick-fil-A had less fries than my medium on the right did. 6.4 ounces compared to 6.6 .6 ounces. Hell, even if we swapped them around, you're willing to pay however more extra just to get 0.2 of an ounce? I mean, what even is that? Th three more chips? Oh boy, glad you spent that extra two dollars. Now one of your handfuls will feel slightly more. Ran out of gas less than 30 feet from the pump. <laughs> Dude, that... <laughs> that's the worst! So close, yet so far. Look, at least you were close by and not in the middle of nowhere. My experience of this was when I was on the middle of a bridge in the middle of a main roadway. I could have called for help and paid the fee of it all, but there unfortunately was a petrol station like a five minute walk away, so I was too justified to save the money and make the effort. Girlfriend's family friend stayed with us for a few days. Oh man, I never understood how detrimental and ruining this sort of thing is to one's life until I experienced it myself with a knife. One of our main knives is like this right now. And the notable burden it is just to stab things. Specifically grapefruit and, you know, vegetables and stuff. I'm not a psychopath. I'm not a murderer, okay? But it is a real burden when there's, it's just, it's not sharp. It's blunt now and wobbly and sometimes you can accidentally stab yourself because it rubs off it like bounces off the skin of the vegetable you're trying to cut. My ex-girlfriend thinks she's getting back a deposit as long as I fix all the holes her son punched in his wall. I mean it's possible as long as they maybe punched one small hole in the wall as they tripped over or something not clearly having a raging moment I'm sure. Oh god! Let's count them like an electrician gang. There's seven, one, two, Eight, three, and four I can see so far. Wow, four different holes. No, wait, I guess there is that rectangular hole in the middle there that's, I guess, being, like, entirely redone. Uh, so uh, make that nine. I'm just, like, wow. I mean, they're all at different heights, too. <laughs> Instead of you getting a pencil and like marking a corner of the wall as the child grows up, he just punched holes every year. This has to be illegal, right? Ooh, we're sorry to see you go. Your feedback is important to us. Please let us know what you're canceling. Too many ads. Okay, click here to complete cancellation. Okay. Oh no! Something is... went wrong! Are you kidding me? Please try again later. God damn it! Look, no, it's not illegal, but if it happens multiple times, you are justified to go all diehard on their office building. My milkman, every time. Okay, as someone who doesn't live um, in the early 1900s, <laughs> someone explain to me what's going on here. He's left you milk? Uh, I, like, I know the whole thing where you leave out your empty bottles for them to collect and then they drop off the fresh ones. For those like me who are confused, the milkman is meant to leave the bottles in the crate for them to be able to just carry them inside instead of having to individually pick them up. You know, convenient. Someone took their parking ticket off their car and put it on mine. Now I'm going to assume this town lives in the year 2024. Maybe the original owner of this ticket lives in uh, 1831. But you know, the ticket
ticket is just to notify you that they've recorded your info. You could shove it up someone else's bum and you're still liable to pay for the ticket, you understand? My partner brought this from Kmart in Australia and I hate it. Oh look, it's an electrician's weekly planner. Of course, there's Monday at the start, then Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and of course, Notez Day. What a fun way to screw with your drowsy brain when you wake up in the morning and look at your Wednesday schedule and think it's Tuesdays. Oh God, the exams today? My boss at work plays the same playlist every day for the past six years. You know, I could understand this behavior back in the day when all you had was CDs, but they are literally using Spotify, an app with millions of options. Hell, he is even using a playlist that he didn't design. It's what the app designed. So you can't argue that he vetted the playlist himself to make sure it was safe for work. Power board to fit in the corner, except the cable comes out of the corner. This is Tony Stark levels of intellect with Star-Lord's level of wisdom. I just, you, how can you manufacture something all the way to the point of distribution and not at a single moment have anyone raise their hand to say, hey, don't you reckon this, this is, this isn't gonna work? Oxford student, too bright for prison, is spared jail for stabbing boys. Boyfriend. <laughs> no, you're kidding me. No, I'm looking at this up. Surely the boy the boyfriend was abusive. That has yeah, he was a danger to her safety. She was defending herself. On a 12-hour flight, and this was my girlfriend's veggie sandwich around eight hours in. Mmm, yummy! Like five percent of your daily vegetable intake. Like you you couldn't even bother to butter it. I am no vegetarian, but I will defend to the death the stupidity of this sort of alternative feeding that they give to vegetarians. There are so many cheap ways to make nice vegetarian meals, and, but they, they always resort to this. It's always this lazy ass. I chop it up and I put it between boy and there you go, bud up a nipple. Ten bucks says the normal option is an actual meal where you get a side salad that has dressing. Opened a sea monkeys kit from the 90s, only to find it was missing packages. Packet one. Damn, the electrician's side gig isn't really working out for them, is it? They need to check their product a bit more thoroughly. On the bright side, extra eggs! I saw the new Broadway national tour of the musical Shrek. I paid a Broadway ticket price. The photo on the bottom is what I expected. The photo on the top is what I got. <laughs> oh my god! No way! What?! <laughs> that is that's not even a cosplay level of like quality. That is below amateur cosplay. That is a frat party costume at most. Wow. I mean, they, they couldn't even bother with any sort of prosthetics. Like folks, this is the national tour. This isn't some small amateur theater company putting on a show. I can't, you, I, 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 no, I need, to, oh, sorry, I gotta spend another, I keep doing this, but I gotta spend 10 minutes researching this. Oh, okay, so this was advertised as Shrek Reimagined, which apparently is slang for, we tried to make it as cheap as possible this time round. One of those methods? Well, instead of having Shrek's parents in full on makeup and costume and a child actor to play Shrek at the start, just turn them into emojis and the kid, ah, screw paying a child, just get a puppet. Look, it's an artistic choice, but yeah, a non-union theatre show. Turns out a lot of these actors are getting just a bit above minimum wage and are being treated like dog schmidt. Now, despite all this, all the comments of people who have seen the show, performers are incredible, so at least they've got that going for them. It's a Marilyn Monroe in a potato sack sort of experience. My sister never cleans up her daughter's mess and nearly gave me a concussion from slipping on all the water she left on the floor. You know, as aesthetic these bathtubs are, I cannot help but feel a, a sense of fear when there's no dry mat there to hold the grip of my feet. I, I've always seen media where someone cracks their head on the side of these things. At this point, it's just, it's fate. At some point, someone's gonna do that in your house if you have this kind of bathtub. Sat down at our gate at the airport next to an outlet. Turns out it's a sticker. <laughs> I can't, like, why would... <laughs> What benefit did the airport have buying these stickers? What do you achieve with this, aside from an angrier customer than before when there was no outlets around? I bought a 20 pack of bamboo straws to reduce the plastic I use. They were shipped in a box with bubble wrap, and each straw is wrapped in a piece of plastic that's as big as my hand. Whoa. Man, you, 
you can't send you can't share these sort of images on people who are genuinely trying to be considerate about their waist. It's photos like these that make me really lose the, the motivation to care about recycling. Like, what is the point? What difference am I making? Have I given up on trying to be relaxed and, and calm throughout this video? You goddamn betcha. Tattoo artist drew very crooked lines on my first tattoo ever. Oh boy. Uh, quick, make up some spiritual reason or memory of yours that's personal that can justify why it's all wonky and wavy. These lines represent the road I travel day in and day out. Though its wobbly shape may imbalance and disorient me, challenge me along my path, I know I will always, eventually, reach my destination as long as I strive forward. That destination being right back to the start again, because because I'm, I'm constantly in like an Ouroboros cycle of torture day in and day out. Nine to five work life, baby. New 0 0.05 ply toilet paper at work? No, no, at that point, it's it's just, you just use your hand. Like there aren't enough threads on that thing to ensure it won't just go straight through. I mean, it's so dumb too, because all you're doing is encouraging your w employees to just use more. You're not saving money and you're using more product. And now, my friends, a little lesson in wankonomics. Here we have a can of Coke. Last week, it was $1.06. 12 ounces. Oh, it's no longer available. But don't worry, they're replacing it with this nice, tall, and thin can. Don't worry, it's the same 12 ounces, though. Oh, look at oh, what's, mm, look at that. It's uh, double the price. Plus more, actually. Technically not shrinkflation, but uh, what this person is coining as trickflation. The only change here is probably considering the recyclability of their materials, and apparently that costs double the product now. This typo caused me to fail the entire assignment. It's this stuff right here where I can justify and genuinely see an accurate use of AI. Marking tests and having just the common sense understanding that in regards to, like, this is obviously, they knew what the answer was. There is there's no way they've mistaken Alabama with some other place called Alabsma. The fact you would fail someone over a misinput. Like your teacher is not a hardcore gamer who is desperate to win a game and go up a rank in COD, okay? You, you don't need to be this hard on someone.